Hello people. This is the project for tonight for me. It will be similar to this but much more simple. It will have this hole pattern and the, the center hole and also this little hole. It will be used for holding a crankshaft in place while the bolt is being taken off. This is the drawing for the part. Sorry for the crappy quality. But I hope you get the idea. So the flange is 8mm thick. And this part here will be 10mm thick. And to this part I will weld a rod so that so that I can get more lever lever force to hold the crankshaft in place. I will drill 8 holes of 8.5 mm and the small hole here, here is 5 mm. The outside diameter is 80 mm and the hole is 46 and this is something like 55. I don't have it marked here yet. And for the material I will use this. It's an old late backplate. I don't think I even have the chalk anymore. So this this is just perfect for the, for this job because this inside diameter is already 46 millimeters. So I only need to bore the threads out. So the first job is to put this on the lathe like this and machine this part of the outside part and a little out of this part. The next thing is to bore the threads out and then shorten this part a little, well like 20 millimeters. And the width of this part is already 9 millimeters. So that's only one millimeter to take off. And to do this job, I will first use my lathe, which you've seen before, and my mill, and a rotary table for the whole pattern. So let's get started. Okay, here we are on the lathe. Let's put the piece in the chuck. I don't want to put the piece so that this this part will go against the jaws. I want at least five millimeters in between, space in between. I'll just wiggle the part a little so I can center it. That's pretty good. Should be good now. Let's see how it turns. Very well, it seems. Okay, the tools I'm going to use are made by Mitsubishi and Seco. This one, I'll swap this one out. First, let's take down the outside diameter. It's about maybe a little under 30 millimeters to take off of the diameter. And I will be running the lathe at 630 RPM. And, and I think I will feed manually because the distance is so short. But if it wasn't I would use maybe about 
0.3 mm per revolution feed. And I will be using eye and ear protection during the work, as you can see. This side is now done, so it's now the time of the other side. Okay, I decided to use the automatic feed because the material was way softer than I thought and the chips it produced were like dust, so I didn't want to be close to the machine. The part is done now. 